What's going on players? In this video I'm going to be showing you guys the secrets with Oswald's girlfriend Rachel and also I'm going to be showing off the three uniques that you can get from Oswald. But if you decide a different approach, you only oh get no. two uniques. So if you guys end up enjoying this, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could show a little bit of support and leave a like or maybe a comment saying, hey, screw off you like whore and go in the corner where you belong. I hate you. But yeah, let's begin. I guess I'm going to start with the very beginning. To even encounter Oswald, you're going to want to make sure you begin the A Magical Kingdom quest, which you get this by just going to Kitty Kingdom and Nuka World. You got to pretty much investigate this mysterious voice over the intercom. And by doing that, you're going to have to go to different locations. So make sure you choose King Cola's Castle last, because you're going to end up having to go to all the quest marker locations with this quest anyways to even encounter Oswald at the very top. You know, just go to these quest markers, and then once you have encountered them all, head to King Cola's Castle. And once you finally arrive, just head on inside and go encounter Ozzy in front of the stage in this place. This first encounterment, he will... Shut up, birds! Go! I'm going to have to shut my window. What's up? Uh, anyways, he will end up attacking you, so you're going to have to, like, you know, take on this fight. Then once you have taken on this fight, he will automatically come on the intercom if you have went to all the other quest markers, saying to pretty much come to him at the top of the place. So you're going to have to take the elevator up and encounter him again. Now, this is when you can have two options. You can go the peaceful route, which if you go that route, you can learn some extra lore if you actually go to Oswald's girlfriend. But first, I'm going to show you guys these unique items, and then I'll get on with... Oswald's girlfriend just in case for the ones that haven't actually seen these uniques I know I'm sorry for the ones that came here because of Oswald's girlfriend instead of these uniques But I'm just gonna get these out of the way. All you're gonna have to do is just kill Oswald. See you later <laughs> What the heck? His head went flying Anyways, and he will have three uniques on him as you can see we got his top hat his sword and his tux Well his sword wasn't technically on him. I had to pick it up off the ground. But sometimes you can loot it from his body. Trust me, I have loaded a safe here plenty of times against him. And even sometimes it doesn't even spawn on his body. His sword just gets lost up here. Sucked. I just had to load again. But yeah, I guess that's some information to know. Although it could be pretty much pointless. Anyways, as you can see for the stats of his sword called Sword of Wonders, it ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. And as you can see with my damage, it has 193 base damage with 27 energy damage. It has the speed of medium, weight is at 3, and the value is at 325. Now you can get this sword looking better than you see now, just all depends on your setup really. Anyways, as you can see for the current mods, this actually comes with the sword and it is the best mod that you can get on this sword. It electrifies whoever you're attacking. Overall, this isn't a bad weapon, it just depends on the uh, type of opponent that you're going up against. Say like you go up against something with uh, some hard defense, such as like a robot or a Mirelurk, this isn't going to be as effective than you going up against a human. Or maybe a ghoul, I mean you get the point. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's about enough information with the weapon. As for his tux, as you can see what it does, it reduces damage from humans by 15%. Personally, I like the way this looks. It gives you more of a classy look. For the base damage resistance, it is 12, and for the energy resistance, it is 17. It gains you one charisma and one to endurance, and also has the weight of three with the value of 200. And here's Oswald's top hat. I'm personally a top hat fan. I don't know why, maybe because I like Abraham Lincoln. Once again, I have no idea. I just like top hats. I personally probably would wear a top hat around just for some shits and giggles and also, you know, I personally think they're stylish. Some other people might laugh at me for wearing them, but I don't care. Seriously, what's other people's opinions have to do with my life? They worry about me? Hey, who gives a crap? They're wasting their time worrying about other people instead of their self. Anyways, I mean, that sounds a little selfish, but hey, it's truthful. People have too strong of opinions about what other people do in their life, you know? It's their life. Let them live their life. Anyways, it increases the wearer's movement speed by 10%, its base damage resistance is at 2, and it has 2 energy resistance. It comes with 1 to perception, 1 to charisma, and the weight is 0.4 with a value of 75. But yeah, that's about enough with the uniques, and by the way, if you do decide to go with the peaceful approach and not kill him, you will only get the top hat and his sword. Of course he isn't going to strip down butt naked for you and hand over his tux as well. He just takes off his hat and gives you his weapon. Actually, technically, he probably wouldn't be butt naked. He'd be in his underwear. But you get what I'm saying. Anyways, now let's get into Oswald's girlfriend. You can actually find her over here at Brad Burton, which is in the top right, kind of, of the Nuka World map. As you can see, 
here's the location. Once you are here, you want to head over to this destroyed building, which, you know, the footage is pretty much self-explanatory on where to go. But once you arrive at this destroyed building, you will notice Rachel is dead right next to her sleeping bag. And Oswald actually thinks she's still alive out there looking for a cure to cure the ghouls, including herself and Oswald, of course, as you guys may know, for the ones that have actually encountered Oswald at the top. He thinks his loved one is out searching still and he's still waiting for her at Kitty Kingdom. Little does he know what you're about to find out from Rachel's holotape that she killed herself. Anyways, yeah, listen into her holotape guys for a little extra lore. And then after you guys listen to this, I'm gonna take you guys to Oswald and be peaceful with him and tell him about Rachel which is pretty much some secret lore with Oswald. It's nothing game-changing in case you guys are thinking, wow, I've already completed this quest. Oh no, I didn't pick up this holotape before I talked to him. It's nothing to sweat over. All this pretty much is is a little bit more of a backstory between Oswald and his girlfriend. But yeah, check this out, everybody. I thought this would be something that you guys might be interested in hearing. I think this is it. I can't go any further. I can feel it taking me. No, gotta keep it together a little longer. Oswald, I'm sorry. I've looked everywhere I could think, but there's no cure. What towns and outposts I could find said that we ghouls just go feral eventually, and there's nothing to be done. Maybe it was the misters. Held out. As long as I can. I know this isn't what you'd want, but... I can't stand the thought of mindlessly attacking everyone around me. So I've decided to end it on my own terms. I don't know why it hasn't affected you the same, but if you still held it together... I want you to move on. Leave Nuka World. You can still make a life out there. It's not all as bad as we thought. I love you, Oz. So, that is Rachel's holotape. Now I'm going to take you guys over to Oswald and be peaceful with them to show you guys this secret lore with them. And that'll be wrapping up the video. Hope you guys found this enjoyable. And if you did, consider leaving a like. I'm out of here, though. Peace. Rachel's dead. Here, she left this for you. She's dead? No. No! My poor Rachel. How could I allow her to leave my side on such a difficult journey alone? This is all my fault. Well, that does it then. It's up to me to leave here and find the cure myself. I'll gather what remains of my friends and we'll leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging you. Farewell.